hey guys welcome back to clarity chart analysis and in this video i will be using market structure to tell us our current position of the ethereum classic on the price market chart and also using market structure to predict the next possible move of the ethereum classic but first guys if you're new to this channel and you want to make money on both directions of the market you want to know our current position on the price market chart this channel is for you please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video so guys on my daily time frame the most recent break of structure we saw was a break of structure to the downside and guys remember my emphasis on this channel that after every break of structure what should we expect we should expect a pullback so guys for us to be on a pullback phase we need price to take out this swing price should trade above it and guys we've seen price traded above it so guys are we still on the pullback phase or we are back to the impulsive phase knowing fully well that the impulsive force was price continue going down so guys we'll be going back to a four hour time frame to go see what our four hour time frame is doing but guys let's fully know that on our four hour time frame if you're still on a pullback phase we're supposed to be on a bullish trend that's the opposite of the break of structure and if we're still and if we're back to an impulsive phase we should be on a bearish trend so guys currently now we'll be going back to a far time frame but let's fully know that price is trading between this upper swing and the lower swing of our daily time frame and guys remember that market structure is king with market structure you can actually trade both direction of the market you can make money trading both direction of the market and market structure can predict the next possible move of price but first guys for you not to miss out that's why clarity chart analysis says easier to give you update on market structure so guys coming back to our far time frame what do we notice so guys on our far time frame it was this same swing that gave us this low long with same price traded above it and after that that price gave us this little pullback and broke more structure to the upside and after then we've seen a break of structure to the downside telling us that now we are now back to a bearish trend so guys currently now after this break of structure we'll see price pull back again but currently price is <coughs> sorry guys currently price is trading between this upper swing of our forward time frame and this lower swing of our forward time frame so guys what do you think price is going to do we've even seen another break of structure to the downside that shows price pull back and broke another structure to the downside because there's a body close not it will close so now this is the uh, most recent break of structure to the downside so currently now we're trading between this upper swing of our far time frame and this low swing of our far time frame guys what is the implication of price breaking this lower swing if price is breaking this low swing that shows that we are now on still on a impulsive phase meaning we've broke another structure to the downside but if we can see price break structure to the upside that shows we are back to a bullish trend so guys, if you should see price take out this upper swing, that shows our far time frame has come back to a bullish trend. So guys, currently now, these are pullback. So are we still on a pullback phase? Let's go back to a one hour time frame to go see what price is doing on our one hour time frame. If our far hour time frame is still on a impulsive phase or we just book structure to the downside. So guys, coming back to our one hour time frame, it was this swing that gave us this low long of same price created above it giving us a bullish trend on our one hour time frame but after then we've seen price book structure again to the downside so now on our one hour time frame we are back to a bearish trend our four hour time frame we are back to a bearish trend and even our daily time frame we are still on a bearish trend so guys let's trade carefully let's trade alongside with market structure and remember that clarity chart analysis is there to give you updates on market structure but guys for you not to miss out please subscribe like and put on the notification to be notified anytime i drop a new video thank you guys for watching this video